So this is the uh, second day the chickens have been in the coop. <clears throat> I would have recorded this last night, but I didn't have my camera on me or the camera mount. I didn't have a flashlight. Uh, night, day one of the chickens going into the coop by themselves did not work out. I had to put everyone in there one at a time on my hands and knees inside the chicken coop trying to catch them. Stick them in the chicken coop. Uh, try to go catch the next one. All the ones in the chicken coop. Try to get out of the chicken coop. It was a fun night. But it uh, seemed like once I got four or five in there though. They kind of just like uh, kind of calmed down on their own. So uh, it's probably about 820. I'm going to see if they go in there on their own tonight. I'm actually down here now. I don't see any in there. But we're going to give it a little bit of time and see if they go in there on their own. I see one about to go in there, though. Look. See right there? There's two right there. Three right there. I see one that's actually in there. I don't. You probably can't see them, but I can. Let me turn this camera around where it's got a little bit better uh, low light ability. It is really not fun to have to go in here and catch them by yourself. Definitely a two person kind of job. You can kind of see several of them are up here in the doorway. It's like they, I've seen I've seen them go up to the doorway. I'm not like, oh, they're going to go in. This is good. Let's see if I can get this focused a little bit better. They actually look like they're going to go in. This is kind of like when they're older. So whichever one has like the, uh, whichever one is the queen of the pecking order generally goes in first and the other ones will follow. So we'll see how this goes. It looks like you hear all the ruckus in there like they're, chatting among themselves everybody's like come on come on there's uh one two three four i still see five out now they have to go in the order of the pecking order too did i mention that <laughs> You upset the pecking order, and that is bad. There's a uh, four left to get up there. Three left, two left. It's like they know that's where they need to go, but they're like hesitant. Or maybe the pecking order is not right. usually takes them in my experience it's usually about a week so if they all went in there tonight I would be really surprised I'm kind of noticing one is blocking the door and it's actually facing with his head outward and the other ones are kind of like pushing up against it and it doesn't want to move like it keeps standing up and then sitting down like it's trying to just rest there. You got to go in. 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 See if he 
these other ones go. That one's gone. There you go. Come on. I know you guys can't see anything. Because I can't. Two just went in on their own. So then I'm going to take a flashlight and shine around, make sure that they're all inside. Because you'd be surprised how sneaky they can be. There we go. Only had to put a few in there, actually. That was pretty good for us only a second night. So then I go outside. I make sure that the door is latched. Then I try to figure out where my cat's at. Because me and this cat have a thing. Or my cat has this thing with the electric fence. Come on, Pipsqueak. Come on, Pipsqueak. Then I hook up the electric fence. I keep a couple of the strands off just so I don't have to keep trying to step over them and stuff like that. So I hook up the strands that I've got disconnected, which is generally the top two. You probably, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that strand and that strand, I make sure they're hooked up. I take a look at the electric fence, make sure everything looks okay, nothing, no wires are touching or anything like that. Then I turn the electric fence on. I listen to here for the click. And that's all. The chickens are in for the night. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be, actually. So, uh, tomorrow night it'll probably get even easier. This is the fourth night the chickens have been in the coop. The first night I had to put them in the coop one at a time, down on my hands and knees, collecting them, stick them in the coop one at a time, and as I go to collect more, the ones in the coop would try to get out. The second night, about half of them went in on their own. I had to put the other half in, one at a time. The third night, they all went in by themselves. And this is the fourth night, and I think they are all in again. Turn this around. They're all in. Good girls. Then I press my test button. And the door closes. Now this door is actually set to automatically. Go ahead and do one more look around just to make sure none's hiding anywhere. None is hiding anywhere. They still have water and food. Night girls. So it seems like it took 
two or three nights you know like i said the third night they were all in on their own the fourth night they were all in on their own but i will continue to check them for a few more nights pipsqueak i will continue to check them for a few more nights simply because i have had them like get confused so what i'm doing now is hooking the electric fence up that i've always had i don't always keep the electric fence off but my cat thinks these chickens are his and i have to <laughs> i have to turn the electric fence off during the daytime when he's outside he kind of knows when i turn it on not to go back down there again if i turn it off but um, he wants to go down and be next to the chickens and check on them and hang out down there and look at them and all that fun stuff. But anyways, huh, beautiful sunset back over on the other side of the trees. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.